Namaste students. I am here to help you out with your uh, design process and uh, we would like to do a small experiment. It will help you in developing your concept uh, for your design and uh, it's basically like you have already done your spatial organization and with your spatial organization and we can play uh, like a jigsaw puzzle and come up with the design ideation. So let us see for which what you have to do is we have lot of uh, papers cut in various shapes and, uh, and uh, dimensions as we all know like say for example we have living room which will have a bigger area it is being taken out in bigger size then we have master bedroom then we have like you know see servants room then we have kitchen in smaller uh, dimension then we have children's bedroom we have living room in another form and dining room in another small size so we based on the requirement and the area statement we can cut now actually i have cut into formal geometric shapes like squares and rectangle but we can cut into various shapes and form as you have designed in the spatial organization so the layout you have designed in the spatial organization can be taken out for simple this thing i have just chamfered the edges and we have different lay, uh, like say for instance the shape of this dining room so let us see what this whole experiment is all about and it is basically like how you play a, a puzzle so let's begin with the major space first we start with say let me take for your interest let me take an awkward shape and say like i place the living room right so we have the li living room and this is the major part of our uh, functional space so with this as the main core of activity uh, we can have different spaces as main core of activity for in this case i have taken the living room as the main core of activity so if i want i can rotate in various shapes in different orientation so uh, before that let us uh, assume some orientation no uh, say for instance um, we have a north point if we have to put a north point and i just take this uh, pen and i show that my north point is somewhat in this direction no let us take the reference this pen as a reference and let the uh, red cap showing this as a north point so if this is the north point i would orient my spaces according to the orientation so let me let me start beginning so i have kept the living space and to reach out this living space we need first we need a veranda or a foyer right so the entrance of the house so let me see like we can provide the entrance like this or i can provide it like this whichever orientation we want so let let me assume that i am providing like this i can even off center it or i can put it like this any way i want you know so it is basically playing with the shapes so i just uh, little bit staggered and then have uh, staggered like this and have kept orienting the foyer this direction similarly next we have the next uh, we go as per the hierarchy we need the dining space so uh, in this case i take out uh, the another form since i have taken it like this i will take an another form and check whether uh, which i can orient so can i orient like this this when we study the um, how the complementing of forms will help you out this is parallel and this is parallel it will um, no merge in such a way that if i if if i want i can do it this way also no so any way we can plan it and then i can say that i have this form like this and then the next orientation of uh, space next hierarchy of space which we require is the kitchen so we have the kitchen so if i want uh, for instance i orient um, uh, like say we we say that now this is north south east and west so if i want the morning sun to enter the kitchen so i can position the kitchen like this way and uh, the dining and then i can orient the space like this right so 
since the paper is flimsy uh, it's, it's not becoming flat okay so now we can orient like this if I want I can always orient it like this and then I can have the kitchen oriented in some other direction like this also I can have right now I decide that I will orient it like this by staggering this uh, no and uh, maybe I will align this like this and stagger the kitchen outwards right and this is how it is right or if I want I can give some space and orient my kitchen like this I can have a small space like this so that I can say that I have a cross ventilation happening this way so I say that I have a cross ventilation happening if I have a window here and here there will be a cross ventilation through this space so this I keep a pencil showing that there is I have introduced the cross ventilation if I want uh, if I have open like I will have a cross ventilation like this so next is like if we have uh, the next order of space we need bedroom and uh, like we have servant uh, space office spaces like that so if we need that say I want uh, uh, let's see that uh, since the family head of the family should get the comfortable space so and it should be the now we have the northeast you no know? so if um, uh, if I want in such uh, such position it, it has to be northeast so in that factor I can uh, reorient my plan in some other way so if I am introducing this then I can have my uh, dining space in a different orientation and I have this kitchen coming up in a different orientation let us work it out so something like this and I can put my master bedroom over here okay now my master bedroom is in the northeast place right so I can design the uh, something like this and then I can have say uh, a buffer space if I want I can have the uh, toilet as a buffer space I can create a small courtyard here and then I can give this kids maybe having the privilege that they are going to face the we have this amusement park for this project so let us assume the kids are going to be in the facing the east and we in the south direction attached to the living space no let us assume something like this there is a courtyard happening uh, or something like a, a space show is created right so by means like i have uh, if i want i can see that i have a cross ventilation like this and i have created and since the, all these are possible when you have a bigger site which is uh, quite possible in a academic project and if in really if you're doing in a countryside farmhouse all these things can be possible so that you can get ventilation cross vent ventilation to all the rooms so what about the proximity study like the servant quarters so the servant quarters can be close to the kitchen right I can enter through the dining room and then enter the servant quarters or from the kitchen I can enter the servant quarters if that is the case I can have it something staggered like this so I have put the servant quarters here and then the master should have an office space and um, uh, say how uh, things can work out so it should be close to the foyer so office space generally like we can say that it is used in the uh, during the daytime and uh, so let us assume that it is close to the foyer and uh, if I want I put close to the living room and it is need not be accessible um, so uh, but I provide attached with the building and can be accessed by you know some other ways separately like this uh, in another way like say for instance I can provide a small passage like a pathway you know to reach this office from the main entrance so I just provided this 
and then I have a foyer and then reaching the house right so this is the way we can organize the uh, plan and then say for instance if we want we have we can have this uh, um, no toilet for kids we can have it uh, as services should come together we can have the toilets together see for instance something like this since yes now we get a closed courtyard yes closed courtyard which will induce a stack effect in the living space right so in this way we can organize spaces and then we can if we want uh, we can have a common toilet and uh, attached so for instance it can be uh, provided somewhere here if necessary this is big so i remove it if i want i can provide some common toilet uh, nearby uh, i'm not uh, putting it right now and then we have another uh, paper like we have a puja space and uh, puja space can be uh, accessed from living room so uh, for instance if we want a morning uh, no puja uh, sunlight you know falling on the deity uh, like we can have it in the, even in the uh, courtyard right so we can work out if possible we can attach very close to the uh, living room itself like this you know so very close to the master bedroom or else i can push it like this and then create uh, close to the kitchen or in this case i provide so it this looks in a closed fashion the puja space is here from the living room you have right so it's very uh, good to have the orientation like this so morning we can have uh, you know the breakfast and everything nicely in the uh, west because it's not good going to get heated up so it will be nice so this is one way of probability where we can orient the spaces and we can play it like this right so uh, let us see some other means how we can design this space so this is like a trial and error this will be like your conceptual ideation of how you can play with this spaces right so let me just show one one more option and then uh, you know we will uh, you can try out the same thing at your uh, workplace let me take a conventional living room right uh, then i have the foyer right and uh, now i change the orientation like this i provide the orientation the north is like this south is like this and east and west so we all know that we can go longer phase in the north and then south and uh, east we should not have more of uh, wall facing so that it doesn't absorb uh, too much of heat right so let me have north north south right east and west so north east preferably i can have a master bedroom then if i want i can have the office space um in the west and then i can have the children's bedroom close proximity to the parents then the dining space let me take a very conventional uh, dining space a dining room then the servants room is here then now i am going to do it quickly and show it to you kitchen is there office space puja then there is passage toilets right um let me remove this uh, awkward shaped uh, uh, living and dining we are not going to use it in this case um we can have corridor if you want we can use it um let's have this so we have the foyer right so if i want i can have the foyer symmetrical uh, to the living room and uh, leave it like that and then i can have the office attached to the building like this 
and then maybe from the entrance I can have the separate passageway to the office right or the passageway can be inclined uh, inclined reaching the office right so the office can be separately like this the of, uh, like if the entry is like this and then say for example I can have the dining space here in the if we want the dining space to be in the in he, here I can have the uh, this is northeast and then I can have let me provide the dining here right and then I can have the kitchen over this place right so if the kitchen is going to have uh, you no know, used by the maid and all that so let us assume that we have the uh, privilege of uh, uh, dining space getting the more attention towards the northern uh, facade then we have the master bedroom right and then we have the children's bedroom attached if I want I will have my servant quarters integrated here let me align it so that it looks good so alignment is very very important so if I put the servant quarters some office space here and then the passage reaching out here it creates like a spatio uh, spatio is the enclosure in all three sides and you don't have like a all four sides wall no the kitchen then the dining space right then we have the master bedroom then we can have the if we want we can have a small corridor or a transition space leading to the children's room and then in between I can have the puja space so let me keep the puja here then I say I have a small transition corridor space reaching the children's bedroom <laughs> let me orient it this way right so we have this the uh, this thing and then you have a, a toilet block attached we have services together so we have the service of the kids toilet uh, if they have this uh, privilege uh, you know they want the outer surface so we can have the toilet somewhere here so that they will get cross ventilation and view something like that a small duct space so if I want I can provide a uh you know uh, this uh, this can be a common toilet so we need cross ventilation so if i want that cross ventilation to happen uh, then i can introduce you know a common toilet here connecting the office space then the servants quarters right and then creating a courtyard here with the uh, kitchen and dining dining right so in this process we have if I want I can bring it closer I can overlap it as such if I, I all this overlapping is possible so I can have a small courtyard here uh, in the living room I can have a space outside so I can say that with this orientation I have a say cross ventilation if I want the cross ventilation can happen this way right for the bedroom there can be a cross ventilation through the small uh, courtyard there can be cross ventilation 
like this from here to here uh, so all this there is a cross ventilation happening there is a cross ventilation happening so here also there is a cross ventilation happening so by this play of uh, you know with this paper uh, puzzle technique you can always uh, come up with design ideas so why don't you all try out this way uh, with your spatial organization where you have developed the forms in various cutouts and you can uh, play like this and you can have fun in doing this exercise and enjoy uh, doing this design activity thank you